Welcome to Lighthouse Kinship's devotional video, Early Morning, Venturing into a New Day, Part 1, Psalms chapter 5, verse 3, NIV. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait expectantly. Today is Friday, June 24, 2022. Monica and I are here at the Natural Bridge Ark in Natural Bridge State Resort Park, Slade, Kentucky. Early morning is my favorite time of each day, no matter the season. Sizzling hot, frosty cold, or a cool, crisp autumn morning. As I wait expectantly to embark on a fresh, crisp, invigorating new day, I am asking my Lord to shine His love brightly into my heart. Psalm 25, 4 and 5 TPT Direct me, Yahweh, throughout my journey so I can experience your plans for my life. Reveal the life paths that are pleasing to you. Escort me into your truth. Take me by the hand and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. I have wrapped my heart into yours all day long. How do we have a heart wrapped into God's heart every day? Acts chapter 13, verse 22, answers the question that we, like David, can have a heart wrapped into God's heart every day. Acts 13, 22, NIV. After removing Saul, he made David their king. God testified concerning him, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will do everything. I want him to do. Obedience, laying down our will and willingly obeying God's divine word. Since June of 2020, Bobby and I literally embark on a new day every day. We have traveled from Georgia, our home state, to Wyoming, to Mississippi, to Maine, to the coast of South Carolina, and to our current location, Kentucky. Every morning, Bobby and I ask God for a caring, compassionate, loving, obedient, servant heart. Proverbs 4, 20-27 Amplified My son, pay attention to my words and be willing to learn. Open your ears to my sayings. Do not let them escape from your sight. Keep them in the center of your heart, for they are life to those who find them and healing and health to all their flesh. Watch over your heart with all diligence, for from it flow the springs of life. Put away from you a deceitful, lying, misleading mouth, and put devious lips far from you. Let your eyes look directly ahead toward the path of moral courage, and let your gaze be fixed straight in front of you toward the path of integrity. Consider well and watch carefully the path of your feet and all your ways will be steadfast and sure. Do not turn away to the right nor to the left, where evil may lurk. Turn your foot from the path of evil. Asking God every morning for a heart that is wrapped into His heart is the easy part. The challenge is walking every day as an individual wrapped into God's heart. I am extremely grateful that God's mercy, grace, steadfast love, and faithfulness is new every morning, and I may ask for them, along with help, to walk in them. Hebrews 4, 14-16 Amplified Inasmuch then as we believers have a great high priest who has already ascended and passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession of faith and cling tenaciously to our absolute trust in him as Savior. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize and understand our weaknesses and temptations, but one who has been tempted, knowing exactly how it feels to be human in every respect as we are, yet without committing any sin. Therefore, let us with privilege approach the throne of grace, that is, the throne of God's gracious favor, with confidence and without fear so that we may receive mercy for our failures and find His amazing grace to help in time of need and appropriate blessing coming just at the right moment. 
This concludes our devotional video of Lighthouse Kinship, Early Morning, Venturing into a New Day, Part 1, Psalms 86, verse 11, Amplified. Teach me your way, O Lord. I will walk and live in your truth. Direct my heart to fear your name with awe-inspired reverence and submissive wonder. Psalms 119, verse 133, Amplified. Establish my footsteps in the way of your word. Do not let any human weaknesses have power over me, causing me to be separated from you. Monica and I thank you for traveling along with us here today. We're on top of the Natural Bridge Arc at Natural Bridge State Resort Park, Slade, Kentucky. Come along and journey with us by subscribing to our channel and hit that little notification bell so that you won't miss our next stop. And please give us a thumbs up and help us to spread the gospel by sharing these videos on your social media platforms. And thank you for leaving your comments below on how these devotions are helping you and your prayer requests so that we know how to pray for you.